Welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak, and I can't believe I'm doing a fourth Lynx video. Okay, so, I learnt uh, reading Wikipedia um, for University, uh, University of EVE's wiki that uh, Lynx, if you upgrade them, will lower the expedite cooldown. So we're going to test that right now. Um, this is an old... Well, one of the first real iterations on my original idea of doing layouts. Um, my current is a straight link line and everything in line. Uh, this one was the first attempt at organizing a more understandable link system with the less... Um, I think I actually screwed up and had the... Was it the... No, this is the less dense. Yeah, the um, the lesser the lesser um, uh, resource, the less dense one. At uh, oh, and by the way, uh, planet density has no relationship to resource density levels. Literally, too complicated. Thanks, CCP. Okay, so the more dense I put closer together for their basics so I know that's the more dense one and that's the least dense one and I would put the uh, launch pad on the side of the less dense and the advanced on the side of the um, more dense resource and that was a good idea so I stuck with it when I went further and cut down the link length I realized that links are linear in cost uh, per kilometer and they don't there's no magical savings for trying to make the links as short as possible between the industries and upgrading them um, well oops no let's not do that Okay, so first of all, let's. We're going to transfer all of the stuff over to here, my extra silo. Okay, so it's half full now. And the next transfer available is 3 hours and 17 minutes. Now if you upgrade it, apparently according to the wiki, you lower the cooldown. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this one level. And we're going to upgrade this one level. And we're going to keep doing that until I run out of power. Now, unfortunately, you can't upgrade these and uh, lower the cooldown for this silo um, in real time. It's got a fixed cooldown now. Can't magically repair the cooldown by upgrading. No, oh, and I think I'm running out of power real soon. I'll make that last one. There we go. Oh, okay. Maximum. Great. Uh, cool.
cool. I'll have to look at the video to figure out how much uh, <laughs> I'm allowed to upgrade level 10. Cool. Experimental. Sweet. Wow, look at that capacity. Alright, so what we'll do is we're going to expedite to here. Whoops. I'm going to expedite. Right, sorry. It's alright. And there's zero cost for upgrading. Just power. So we're going to expedite this to here. And then you go. Oh, you don't have to highlight that, by the way. Stupid progress. So I don't teach bad habits. You don't have to highlight it at all. You just hit expedite. And then you have to drag. There you go. And the cooldown is... Oh, look at that, hey? Four minutes versus three hours. Well, that would have been probably four hours. So yeah, that's um, from... To the experimental, you probably might... Prob I'm guessing that would have been like five hours. So yeah, you get like ten times less time needed. I'm probably totally screwing up the math there, but... Yeah, you, you only have to wait four minutes, which is awesome. Uh, so I definitely am interested in lowering the, uh, I mean upgrading the, the links between the launcher and the silo. Normally I have, see in the case of this one, I just have the one. This is my current status for, um, I'll just plunk extractor head there, or yeah, that's not really fixed yet, is it? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a good idea going. Uh, it took me a while to get it perfected. Anyways, so. Seneche was pretty much my prototype, I guess, for the switch between my original and the, and the current version I've got. So let's see how much I can get away with. Two. Four, five, level six, level seven. Okay, now, and so if I expedite, oh, whoops. Sorry, if I expedited now at level one, it would give me six hours. Yeah, I mean, if I do maximum uh, draws, I mean expedites with full silos, it it takes me about eight hours to cool down. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And then I realized a couple of things. The less you transfer, the less cool down, and the more upgrades, the less time. So. So that's six hours and 20 minutes. Do it all over again, hold on. seven and we expedite right right yes sir all right expedite there and I get five minutes cool right on so oh wait it's cool down time really five minutes no yeah Wow, five minutes, cool. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show that. Um, kind of a new thing I found out, new thing I learned. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I've just plumbed the depths of, of Link, whatchamacallit, so I, I think I'll, I'll be able to let sleeping dogs lie now. I don't think there's any new information about links. Just wait, somebody make a comment and 
<laughs> Launch. Uh, I can't talk and do something at the same time. Got it. And done. Go. Cool. Yeah. Um. I was. I was looking up. Um. Like that. That. And by the way, the last bit of information is we'll have to make a new video. Um, link lengths is about 6.5 power per kilometer for level one and that um, a 450 kilometer length link I'll do it right now 450 is right here so that's 460, that's, that's pushing it because 450 is the minimum for an extra um, uh, extractor head. Uh, I'll break it down for you. Um, the extractor heads cost 550 megawatts power. Um, a A level five uh, skill level four um, colony after it's got um, two extractor control units um, and all this like four basic one advanced one launcher and one silo has 11 heads it can put down uh, maximum um, you can't get away with any more Plus, you've got 450 power for links, uh, because you literally can't place any, build anything extra with 450 power. So you've got a minimum of 450 power in your links. And carry six. Um, assuming it's really big. Yeah, it's really big. So a smaller planet, like say, I think it's two. If you make a link. That is 450. It's you can go out a bit more. Doesn't really seem it, does it? Oh, yay! Let's get them. So bear, yeah. So 450 is like here. And I'll do that again on the other planet. So about there. And on planet six. The length, that's about, okay. The length is going to be, oh wait, totally screwed that up. Okay, I'll put it right there. And here, get the link and go, wait, put it right in the middle. So 450 is going to be right there for the small planet. So I should be able to reach out to this um, extract control unit on the small planet, and I'm, per cal my calculations, you won't be really able to do that on the bigger planet. There you go, see? So it's a bit smaller. What's the largest one? This is the largest one. Like this one is 7,000. This one's 5,000. And this one is really big. So let's go there. Okay. 
that in the middle there. So I should reach about here if I was on that 5,000 km, uh, kilometer radius planet. There we go. Whoa. Well, uh, so yeah, as yes, you can see, subjectively, like it's, it's the exact same kilometers. Um, it's just under 3,000. Um, but yeah, um, subjectively speaking, you're, it's like 5,000. It's almost direct, like that's pretty much halfway, wouldn't you think? Um, between the really uh, small planet, well, not really small, it's about 5,000 kilometers, and the 10,000, 11,000 kilometer planet. So it's a, almost directly proportional. So you just look at the radius and go, okay, that's going to be half uh, what I'm used to getting away with, with the smaller planets. Now the really small planets, like the 26, you can find a small planet. Not in this system. Close all the... No. Okay, it's not in this system. But I have... 40... 30... 30... 21. I think that's... Itrin, I think, is the smallest. So let's head to Itrin. Oops, didn't want to do that. Anyways, so get that up and get that right there. Portion it planet and build, create link, and right in the middle there. And so as you can see, <laughs> when you're in the really small planet, yeah, you can just go on forever. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, this is, the halfway mark is around here, let's get all the way, it's right there, so on a really small planet, it'll take a thousand power to reach halfway around the planet, so we're literally quarter of the way, I'm a quarter of the way, this is a quarter of the circumference right here. There. And of course, it's still the same kilometers, but as you can see, it's crazily over the horizon for uh, a small planet. So you can do a lot with a small planet, <laughs> but there's no... it. The radius and the density have no relation at all to the aqueous, uh, the, the resource density. And it actually literally says resource density. And it's no relationship to the planet density at all. So there, I beat it to death again. <laughs> it's now thin paste.